we've been seeing those winter-like conditions for the past couple of days. But the good news though, as we start to finish out the week, should see conditions returning to a little bit more fall-like with some warmer temperatures on the way. Really, that's thanks to the high pressure currently across Georgia. It's slowly going to move up the Carolinas really throughout the day today. So that should allow warmer temperatures to start to move back in. And it's going to start to pull in, unfortunately, more moisture as well. We're currently seeing that as showers across Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. That activity slowly starts to move northeast just alongside the high pressure. So the cold front itself stays off to our west, but we will see actually multiple systems that we'll try to move on through over the next six to seven days. System one moves on through tomorrow into Saturday. So we'll see temperatures pretty much just average today and tomorrow out ahead of that system. But as we head into the weekend and system two moves on through, we're actually going to see our temperatures getting back into the 50s. Little less rainfall with that system, more so rain on Friday than just spotty and scattered through the weekend. But as we head into next week, though, system number three moves on through. We're going to watch our temperatures drop back into the 40s and 30s and unfortunately could see the return of a few lake effects, snow showers. But as we start the morning, currently 33 here in Wheeling as well as St. Mary's, but as cool as 29 on over into Coshocton and on over into Cambridge. Because of that, have been seeing some frost develop this morning. So if you're parked outside, just give your car a couple extra minutes to warm up in the frost before you head out and about. But wind chills though, still a factor as well this morning. So most of us really still feeling like we're in the 20s. So still make sure you bundle up coat, hat and gloves. Not a bad idea this morning, but you're not going to need to keep it all throughout the day today. As we get back into the 40s just before lunchtime and even see our temperatures just about 3 to 4 p.m. Max out somewhere between 48 and 52 later this afternoon. But as we start the morning, just seeing these high thin clouds rolling on through. So expect periods of sunshine like yesterday, really up until that 11 a.m. time frame. So through the afternoon, I do expect to see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, but still don't be surprised by a few pockets of sunshine. By 6 p.m., clouds try to roll out for just a brief period of time. But first thing tomorrow morning, I do expect to see those showers start to roll back in. So make sure you have that umbrella as you step out the door tomorrow. Starting off as steady, becoming a little bit more moderate, especially between that 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. time frame. So by lunch, seeing a few moderate showers, but that starts to decrease in intensity and coverage as we head between lunchtime and dinner time. Just can't rule out a stray shower during the evening hours and into early Saturday morning, where we'll likely see our temperatures back into the 50s through the weekend. So Sunday, 53, a few spotty showers during the afternoon, evening. Then temperatures drop throughout the day Monday with a few spotty showers. 39, straight lake effects, snow shower on Tuesday, and pretty much the same thing on Wednesday. So 37, spotty straight snow shower for the middle of next week.